Alyssa. I know I haven't been recording in a while, but I'm back. And today, today we're going to be doing a makeup tutorial. Okay, um, I'm no professional makeup artist, but I do do my makeup once in a while to cover these still ugly bags on my eye. <laughs> and these little things on my face. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm excited for today's video because I haven't been here in a while. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's get into today's video. So the first thing I like to do when I'm doing my makeup is to start with my eyebrows. So the first thing I'm going to do is to make sure my eyebrows are intact first thing I haven't waxed my eyebrows in a while actually the last time I treaded my eyebrows and that hurt so I'm about to go back to waxing because shredding and it treading ain't it so after I've done that I will then use some eye pencil I usually use a gel but I just got this from where did I got this from Walmart so I said let me try it out today is so today's the first time I'm actually using this I was trying to get something a little lighter because my brows are looking a little dark sometimes. I can slightly see the difference there which is kind of what I wanted because some of the eyebrow gels they're making my eyebrows look a little too extra personally I like my eyebrows to look natural you know like I didn't do too much that's how I like my whole makeup look to look natural so Okay, so that's it. Okay, so now we're just gonna put some of this around the eyebrows. I'm 
over here. There we go. Okay, so after I'm done with my eyebrows, I just like to use this concealer to hide these dark circles under my eyes. And then I'm just going to use my beauty blender to blend it out. So, yeah. There we go. And then I have some marks, these right here, well that's a mole actually. So. And my nose piercing. Just gonna blend that out. go a little bit more lighter you know just a little bit under the eyes especially I'm on my ears and yeah that's about it so the next step is to use some setting powder I'm just gonna go ahead and put on the setting powder
Next, we're gonna go ahead and use some bronzer. After that, we're just going to try and blend all in together. So all that's left to do now is to apply some eyeshadow. So I always use one shade of eyeshadow, literally brown. One time I tried, well, to use another color. I didn't like how it looked. I don't think colors are for me. I don't even like colors, but my cousin said that I should try it, and I did, but I don't like how it looks. We're just gonna go ahead and put on some mascara and I don't use lashes because This makes it look like I am wearing lashes. Okay, so once I'm the only thing I do after, when I'm finished with that, the only thing I do after is some highlights. There we go. And, and as you guys know, I'm a lip gloss type of person. I don't like lipstick. And today I'm just gonna be using this lip balm on my lips. And it's a uh, apple honey flavor. I love it so much. I actually just got this and I never had this flavor before. I'm always tasting my lip gloss. This apple honey tastes really good. Okay. It doesn't give me that wetty look that I love to take pictures with, but it makes my lip feel really well, really good. It makes my lip feel great. And it tastes good, so why not? Okay. okay, thank you guys so much for watching my video. I'll be posting another video very soon. So look out for that. Turn on the post notifications. Don't forget to like, comment what video you want to see next. And, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I love you guys. Bye.